is it's trying to put my hair and today we're at the Cotswold Spring Classic Sport Eve to have a look at what it's like to do a sport Eve event and the event is supported by gamesbreastcancer.org.uk so definitely check out their site there and now we're going to see what it's like to do a sport Eve. Let's go! So the first thing to do is arrive at the event, follow the signs for the parking and follow the marshal's directions into the car park. Once you're all parked up, follow the signs to the registration area. When you've made it to the registration area, find your relevant event number, come say hi to the marshals and get your sign-on details. Brilliant, okay, so once you've filled in all your timing chip for you that attaches to your bike. Yeah. Very important food voucher for the feed stations. Number that goes on your bike. And a map in case you get lost. And now we're going to meet Richard who supports against breast cancer. Hi there, welcome to uh, the Cotswold Classic here in Cirencester. Um, as, as I said, my name is Richard. Uh, I'm here from Against Breast Cancer and we're the registered charity for this event. Um, we run a variety of different events um, in support of breast cancer research. Uh, we have over 150 women a day being diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, all the funds that are raised through events like the Cotswold Classic um, go straight into our research into secondary spread and to helping to fight the disease. So um, if you're all interested, please get in touch. Um, our website the site's just here, um, www.againstbreastcancer.org.uk Once you started the event, Pretty much all you've got to do is follow the waymark signs. The signs you encounter will generally be left, right or straight on like this one. Do look out for any other signs which might be alerting you to any obstacles coming up. It's also important to look out for these signs which give you the route split for the different options available on the day. Today we've got a 50, 100 and 160 kilometre route and these signs will help keep you on the right way for your particular choice. And definitely look out for these signs, the feed stations are always a welcome sight. As you can see we've now made it to the feed station and this is Alex from Performance Cycles who will give us a quick overview of what we've got to eat today. Uh, we've got a range of stuff, bananas, bread with cream cheese, crackers, nuts, sweets, you name it, it's here. Uh, water and energy drink as well. And what's your top tips for finishing the rest of the sporty for strong as possible? Keep eating. Eat a lot. And drink a lot. That's the way to do it. So we finished the event now. How did you get on? Yeah, really good. It was really, really good fun. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. The sun's just come out, so which yeah. is uh, timing's perfect. Well done, guys. You just finished. Mm. How did you find it today? Hard. <laughs> Hilly. Yeah. Hilly. Hilly. Hillier than we were expecting. Yeah. Oh. Fun, which route did you do? Um, yeah, the middle, the 64, 100, 104 kilometers. Yeah. Excellent stuff. And would you recommend the event today? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's a good yeah. event. Yeah. So well site posted, well marshaled, yeah. and uh, nice pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be back for more then? Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, back definitely. next year. Yeah. So today the event has been supported by True Start Coffee. Hi everyone! Hi, my name's Helena. I'm the founder of True Start Performance Coffee. We're here today and the sun is actually coming out at the Cotswold Spring Classic Sport Eve. It's been absolutely epic. We've been here fueling the riders with True Start and the brand new Hero Bars, which is True Start Coffee in a bar. They've gone down very well. 
So it's been brilliant, Abs absolutely such good fun to see everyone absolutely smashing it. Start of the season, caffeinated perfectly, killing it. Hey, so there we go. That's been the Cotswold Classic Spring Sport Team. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're doing a longer distance event like an Ironman or the Cotswold 113, for instance, I hope this 40 boat view has been a good inspiration to get out there, get some miles in, enter a similar event, and get used to riding with other people, which is a big benefit for triathlon and doing a sporty event. As always, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help. And any comments or questions, put them in the box below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.